Okay, in this problem, we're asked to um, decide which of the two numbers is less than the other. So the order in which they write this matters. They say in the expression x is less than y, which two terms could be x and y respectively? So this word respectively means that the number that they write first is going to be the x, and the number that they write second is going to be y. So we're looking for which of the numbers on the left is less than the number on the right. So immediately we can um, get rid of choice A since negative 9 is less negative than negative 10. So if you're having a hard time understanding that, you just think back to your number line. Negative 10 is more negative than negative 9. So negative 9 is not going to be less than um, negative 10. Um, the next one that you have to do a quick computation, 3 squared is 9 and 2 cubed is 8. And obviously 9 is greater than 8, so it is not the case that x is less than y. Um, you might temporarily skip over this one and just notice that um, here we have 25 and 25, and 25 is obviously equal to 25, so that is also not it. So you could, by process of elimination, decide that choice C is correct, which it is. Um, if you want to see this more precisely, notice that 21 over 30, we can simplify that fraction by noticing that uh, they have a common factor. So in particular, 21 is 7 times 3. And of course, 30 is 10 times 3, so they both have a factor of 3. And so this fraction is really equivalent to 7 tenths, which we could write as 0.7. So if we look at 0.7 compared to 0.75, clearly 0.75 is larger. So we see that if x is 21 over 30 and y is 0.75, then x really is less than y.